So it's been a quite a, a minute since I've done a, a, a vlog and today's topic we're going to talk about um, the environment. I mean I've been, oh, actually, the sun is going down on me. Oh wow. Anyways, I don't know if, there you go. The challenge now is, uh, you know, I've been, I've been kind of traveling, uh, not as much as I used to, but I was in the U.S. Uh, about two weeks ago, and the heat, I mean, I've lived in Atlanta for a long time. I've never experienced that kind of heat, humidity in my life there. Um, and obviously, AC's running 24-7 everywhere I went, even in the car, and I was trying to be cute with myself, you know, driving. Be like, no, nah, man, uh, I'm, I'm an environmentalist, so I, I have to, you know, be good with... Uh, Stop just talking about it and, and show that uh, uh, I, I care about this environment and, you know, not run the AC in the car and uh, put, back, put down my windows and start driving. No. I did that for one day and uh, that was it, man. Uh, it was just too hot, man. I was sweating like a pig. And uh, I just kept asking myself, man, it's, it's just... This is not gonna, this is definitely not gonna work. And of course, like everybody else, I put back the AC. And uh, that was it, man. Um, but I, I realized and I started reading about it and I started asking myself, you know, how, how this is gonna end? How this whole issue is gonna end? Because it's, it's just not gonna end well. Maybe not in our lifetime, but definitely in my kids' lifetime, it's not going to end up well. You know, we just keep doing the same thing over and over that on this environment, hoping that things are going to change. Uh, I, I was reading about Elon Musk's uh, competition that he was running, right? And... Uh, it's just spending $100 million looking for solutions to solve this um, uh, CO2 issue and, and how to, uh, you know, absorb more CO2 and all those things. And, and it's mind-boggling for me because the solution already exists. Nature already have a solution. Trees is one of the things, the biggest thing. Why do we have, now we're going to be buying, you know, keep cutting trees, right? Instead of, of uh, investing in, in uh, reforestation and, and planting more trees and, and looking for, you know, more solution on the na nature side to solve this problem, we're trying to build a huge machine to suck on the CO2, put it on the earth, but we're not solving the, the problem at its roots. We're just trying to patch it up. And that's just crazy to me. That's just crazy to me. You know, the amount of money, is, I think it was $100 million. That could do so much uh, good deed in, in, in uh, you know, if, if, if we invest in planting more trees, um, recycling, obviously... Um, using you know regeneration of the soil uh, solution all these things already exist nature have evolved for billions of years you can't compete with nature they're way in advance of what we're trying to do but humans man we humans we, we play god so much we think we got i truly believe some of those billionaires they truly believe they're god you know thinking you can find better solution than nature. And and that's just not possible. So Elon Musk, uh, I, I just hope that, you know, it, all this money, some of that money can go into solution that already exists and, and, and positive for nature. Not just tech again. I've seen some of those technologies. 
And I look around, urbanization is killing the environment. And that's one of the, the, the things I want to talk about today. How we cutting trees, we, we building houses that are not environmentally friendly. We still use cement on everything, which we know are, you know, causing some uh, huge uh, issue on the global warming. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was between 5 to 10 percent. Cement production is very bad uh, for the environment. Um, it's energy intensive and so on and so forth. And, and we're cutting trees everywhere, man. And, and even in my neighborhood, man, just, it just breaks my heart, man, when I see a huge amount of trees getting cut to build, to develop some apartments and complex and stuff like this. So it, that's something that really, really affect me. And, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering what's next. When are we going to understand? When are we going to learn anything? When are we going to stop all this craziness? You know, I, I call this, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, collective suicide, man. We, we literally know we're doing terrible things, but we're still doing it. Because we are always, we think maybe some by miracle, something is going to get better. Or somebody's going to come and clean this mess up. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not speaking for everybody, but I'm just wondering. And this is not just a question for everybody, but for myself. You know, we, we all guilty to this thing. All, all of us. All guilty. I mean, every time I buy toys and all, open packages, trash it, you know, uh, throw plastic instead of recycling throwing food instead of processing it in-house, but that's about to change, by the way. That's definitely about to change because um, there's already technology now where you can use your food to produce gas for cooking and stuff like that. So that, that's, that's definitely about to change from my side. But if you look at the statistic today, we've increased, uh, the temperature has increased 1.5 degrees today so far we're going to be at three degrees in a decade or two max we are 1.5 i live in ronda we high up in the hills and you can feel this heat summertime right it's just crazy and and i'm wondering what's going to look like at three degrees what's going to be the 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 situation when we get at three degrees at 1.5 it's already it's unsustainable and i've just been i haven't been uh in in what would what we consider hot countries i'm about to go to saudi arabia in two months and we'll see how that goes but i can imagine dubai and all those cities you know in the desert and all those things how 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 is that how, how's life over there right you know and and we know all those things. We're reading all those articles. But as individual, not many people doing anything about it. As government, I mean, I've seen government initiative try to do stuff. But as, as individual, not much has changed. At least for the people I know, including myself, not much has changed. You know, I try to cut down to, to some extent, but trying to do some positive things, but not much has changed. Not much money is going into recycling. We, 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 we talk about so many innovation, but they're not scaling, you know, at the rate they should be scaling. And deforestation is increasing and increasing and increasing. So anyway, you know, and, 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 and check out a little bit this video I took about my neighborhood just to show you um, how it affects all of us, you know. As close as, and, and you know, even closer than you think. That's the problem, man. Cutting all the trees.
all the trees are cut. That's great. All this trash. And those were beautiful trees from the neighborhood. Look at this big ass tree. That's, good. That's pretty much what I wanted to end with. You know, uh, to show you guys the, the reality of urbanization. And here we, we're doing much better than a lot of other countries, right? Because uh, some other countries, they, it's even worse. There is no regulation. You know, there's no planning. I have to say, at least in Rwanda, we, we, we do a lot of planning. There's a lot of regulation. But some people still abuse those regulations. I mean, that's just, that's just the reality on the ground. Humans, man. It's humans. I think our ancestors, a few generations back, used to care about the environment. We used to live in harmony with, with, with the environment. And I think this this generation, my generation, our previous generation, the future generation, we, we just money hungry. It's all about the profit, as we call it. It's all about the dollar, right? How to make money. You know, who cares about the environment? We don't even care about the next generation. We don't even care about our own kids. They're gonna be the one inheriting all this mess. And and yeah, man, I, I'm beyond pissed. But the question he's talking about is not me. I'm not the only one talking about it. I'm not the only one complaining about this situation and raising the issue. What are the solutions? There is solution. There's the need of more capital uh, <clears throat> that needs to be going through recycling, technology, research and development, and community-based uh, 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 solution. Unfortunately, we're looking at money injection as investment for return. No. We, we, we need to, you know, I'm not a big fan of donations, but we need to support those, uh, those solutions, right? We talk so much about tech, 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 tech. You know, everything is around technology, man, how to make our life better. But what about the environment, man? You know, what about this environment we're destroying? That's even more important. I don't care how great the technology is. It's not going to go far when people go hungry. They're not going to be using Facebook, Google, and all those things when they can't find food, feed their family, feed themselves, you know. Uh, uh, when they're, they're not going to be healthy and all those things. This tech is going to be useless. All these solutions we're developing, the fintech and all those things, billions go. And I'm going to, you know, the craziest thing I saw recently, I saw a company. All they do is it's a software system tracking waste. They raise a uh, $40 million, $40 million just to track waste. It's a tech to track waste. But I've yet, you know, and I'm talking about Africa on the continent, but I've yet to see recycling actually doing the work, actually cleaning up ocean cleanup and all those things, raising that kind of money. Because the way we look at things is, you know, the, 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 there, there is no IP in recycling and all those things, or at least clean up stuff. The IP is in tech and doing stuff. For, and I didn't go into detail what kind of technology it was, but it might have been uh, using blockchain or, or whatever those uh, AI blockchain, whatever those big wording we use to, to increase our valuation. But we value a tracking system much, much better than we actually value company doing the cleaning itself. Or doing the recycling. This is how our mindset is jacked up, man. This is how messed up we are as a society, right? Yeah. I can start a recycling company today. I guarantee I'll struggle so much to raise capital. Uh, I, there's a, you know, a, a great company 
and, and I, I'll try to find the link and put it below. There's a great company in Ghana doing coconut uh, recycling to make it charcoal. Great company. And he's talking about on his YouTube, he was talking about how hard he couldn't find no money. Those are the people that should be raising billions of dollars. Those are the companies that should be, not the tech, not even A-Red. A-Red, we, 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 we solving a, a problem in connectivity. But when I think about it, connectivity is not going to be, it's going to be useless when people cannot feed themselves. When the environment is all jacked up. When it's so hot that it's causing, because let's not forget, disease is going to increase. You know, we're going to have huge water issues around the world. It, it, it's, it's just going to be a problem. That's going to cause more wars. I mean, you, we've seen the issue with the Dan uh, in Ethiopia. That's, that's, a, that's just one example. So, yeah, and, and I do that already. I don't ask people to do stuff that I don't do it myself. If you can't do anything yourself, personally change your, you know, certain things you do on a day-to-day -day life, the ways you create. Donate some money or invest your earned money. Or part, I mean, not all, but donate some of the money or invest some of your money into uh, uh, green companies, man. Especially on the recycling side. Especially companies that are trying to clean up this mess, man. Those are the type, you know, companies that are fighting deforestation, so on and so forth. Those are the organizations we need to support now. They need our support because if we don't clean this mess now, our kids, is, they're not going to forgive us, man. They're going to look at us as a, as a fuck-up, man. You know, pretty much.